Hello, I'm Yuri Dukovny, Principal Solutions Architect with AWS. Today I will show you how to visualize AWS IAM Access Analyzer policy validation findings with Amazon QuickSight in a user-friendly way. First, I'll talk about what is IAM Access Analyzer and the use cases where it's used by our customers. Subsequently, I'll talk about the opportunity to make it even more easy to visualize and analyze the findings. And lastly, I'll talk briefly how to configure it. One of the important steps in your journey to list privilege model is to gain visibility and insights on what access does user or IAM entity has and whether it's just enough or overprivileged. Once you gain visibility to the level of access, then you can refine it by removing any unused access. IAM Access Analyzer helps you identify the resources in your organization and accounts, such as Amazon S3 buckets or IAM roles, shared with an external entities. External entity can be an AWS account or root user, IAM user or role, federated user, anonymous user, or any other entity that you can use to create conditions in the IAM policy. This lets you identify unintended access to your resources and data, which is a security risk. When you are creating Analyzer, you can choose a trust zone, which is either your entire organization or your account. This allows you to identify unintended access from outside of your AWS organization, as well as unintended cross-account access. AWS IAM Access Analyzer policy validation feature guides you to author and to validate your existing policies based on the time-tested AWS best practices. Over 100 policy checks enable you to improve your security posture and simplify your policy management at scale with concrete recommendations around security, syntax errors, missing actions, invalid constructs, invalid users, and more. AWS customers are using different mechanisms to view, analyze, and action on Access Analyzer findings. Some customers are integrating Access Analyzer APIs to their CICD pipelines for policy validations. Other customers use AWS Management Console to view, analyze, and act on those findings. Today, I'm going to talk about another mechanism that our customers can use, viewing Access Analyzer findings with QuickSight dashboard. While AWS Management Console provides a friendly user experience for viewing Access Analyzer findings, organizations often want an even more user-friendly dashboards that can be accessed by their business's stakeholders and executives to view and analyze Access Analyzer findings. One such mechanism to provide user-friendly reports is through Amazon QuickSight, where it's easy to manage access to selective dashboards and reports to the business's stakeholders and executives, while providing a visually appealing user experience to analyze the findings. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can quickly start using this example, available for you on the AWS Samples GitHub, to continuously validate your existing AWS IAM policies across all of your AWS accounts and visualize findings with Amazon QuickSight dashboards. I'll walk you through four simple steps to visualize the findings. First, we need to collect inline and customer-managed IAM policies from all the accounts in your AWS organization and send them to the Central Hub account, usually a security tooling account. Second, We'd like to run IAM Access Analyzer Validate Policy API call on each policy we collected. The API call returns a list of findings. You will use these findings to identify and correct the issues in your policies and to author functional policies that can meet security best practices. The findings will be stored in the S3 bucket belongs to the Hub account. Third, We'll be using Amazon Athena to query the IAM Access Analyzer findings in the S3 bucket and then creating a quick site analysis to visualize the findings. Finally, you can publish a quick site dashboard to share it with your security team members. 
Let's quickly take a look at the design of this example solution. In each of the AWS organization member accounts, the solution deploys an AWS Lambda function that lists the IAM policies on this AWS account and sends the policy ARN and the policy document to the Amazon SQS queue that belongs to the Hub account. This Lambda function triggered every 24 hours by the time-based AWS event bridge rule. When new messages are received, the Amazon SQS queue triggers the second Lambda function. For each message with the policy, Lambda function extracts the policy document and calls the IAM Access Analyzer Validate Policy API call to validate the policy. The Lambda function stores validation results in the S3 bucket. The solution also creates an Amazon Athena and AWS Glue Data Catalog resources to make findings available to Amazon QuickSight. QuickSight uses Athena as a data source to visualize IAM Access Analyzer findings. Now let's take a look how it works. I already have Git client and AWS CLI installed on my machine, and I have admin credentials configured for the AWS CLI for my security tooling account. I also have all features and the trusted access enabled in my AWS organization, and I delegated CloudFormation stack set administration to my security tooling account to be able to run a service managed stack set from there. I'll start from deploying the solution into my security tooling account. I clone a Git repository and run make deploy command that creates a CloudFormation stack in my security tooling account to deploy an Amazon SQS queue validation Lambda function, Amazon S3 bucket, everything you've just seen on the architecture diagram. When the stack creation completed, you can take a look at the resources it created, and you need to notice SQS queue URL and KMS key ARN used by the SQS queue. We'll use them to deploy the solution in the organization's member accounts. You can also run make describe hub outputs from the command line to see the CloudFormation stack outputs. To deploy the solution in all of my AWS organization member accounts, I'll run make deploy members, providing SQS queue URL and KMS key ARN as the parameters, and this will create a CloudFormation stack set to deploy the Lambda function to collect IAM policies on all of my organization's accounts. I run it from the security tooling account that I delegated trusted access to. When deployment completed, we can take a look at the resources created on one of my member accounts by going to the CloudFormation Management Console. Now let's see how you can visualize findings with Amazon QuickSight. I already subscribed to the Amazon QuickSight Enterprise Edition on my security tooling account, so I go to the QuickSight Management Console. First, to assure a quick site will have access to the Access Analyzer Findings S3 bucket and will be able to use Amazon Athena as a data source, I'll go to the Manage Quick Site menu, Security, then Permissions, and will change the role Quick Site uses to access AWS services to the one created by the Hub account CloudFormation stack. Next, I retrieve the Quick Site users using AWS CLI and will note my QuickSight user arm. I pass it as a parameter to make deploy dashboard hub. This command creates a CloudFormation stack on the security tooling account that deploys a visualization dashboard owned by my user. When the CloudFormation stack deployment finishes and the scheduled Lambda function runs to collect the policies on the member accounts, I go to the QuickSight console and as you can see, I have a new Access Analyzer dashboard here. In this dashboard, I can see Access Analyzer policies finding statistics, such as percentage of policies with and without findings in all of my accounts, findings percentage by types, as well as the findings details page that together with the heat map helps me to prioritize my findings corrective actions. For example, I can easily filter findings by type, choosing security warnings, and use the findings details to decide if I'd like to address this finding immediately. 
Now I can modify these visuals and publish these dashboards to share it with my security team members. To do that, I go to the top right menu, choose Share and then Publish Dashboard. I choose Publish New Dashboard, assign the name to it and click Publish. Now I can share the Access Analyzer dashboard by inviting users via email and assigning the level of permissions I'd like them to have. I also can copy a link to the dashboard and send it to the users. You've just seen how easy it is to configure QuickSight dashboard with IAM Access Analyzer and use it to view and analyze Access Analyzer findings. You can give it try in your AWS account to identify unintentional access and remediate or mitigate any findings. Here is the link to the blog that provides step-by-step -step detailed instructions on how to configure this integration and use Amazon QuickSight to share, visualize, and analyze Access Analyzer findings. Feel free to discuss this use case with your account management team for any clarifications. Thank you for watching.